Hi, this is Diana Leighton. I'm the Youth Librarian at the Mark and Emily Turner Memorial Library in Prescott, Maine. And today is October 7th, 2011, which means it's Ada Loveless Day. And um, this is my third year providing a post for Ada Loveless Day. For those, those not familiar, uh, Ada Loveless Day is a moment to recognize women uh, in fields related to technology, computer science, mathematics, and engineering. And so for this year, I have chosen Karina Cortez, who is the head of Google Research New York. And the reason why I chose her is uh, this year I've become increasingly interested in the field of machine learning. Like many of you, uh, I became interested after watching the performance of IBM supercomputer Watson on Jeopardy and learned uh, a little bit more about machine learning systems. And just in the past month or so, I've been working a little bit more to try to understand these concepts and how machine learning works. Um, for those of you not familiar with machine learning, um, this is basically developing algorithms that allow computers to evolve their behaviors based on the data that is presented to them. Um, that's kind of a, a nice general definition. So how do we get computers to essentially learn. Um, so Karina Cortez, uh, yep, she's the head of Google Research New York. Before that, she worked at at and Bell Labs. And um, one of her most notable works is um, in 1995, uh, she helped to develop the soft margin method for support vector machines. And uh, support vector machines I kind of had to write down the definition, so bear with me, <laughs> because, again, I'm just learning about some of these concepts, but a support vector machine, they perform classifications by constructing an n-dimensional hyperplane uh, that optimally separates data into two categories. And you see this type of classification uh, model a lot in machine learning. And so the soft margin method creates greater allowances for misclassified bits of data, so it's a little bit more realistic because not every piece of data can be split so evenly into two categories. And to understand where you might see uh, support vector machines, you see them a lot in um, medical and biological research, DNA computing, and even cancer classification. Um, so I will make sure to provide a little bit more information on support vector machines and how they work. Um, so yeah, Karina Cortez helped to make those run more efficiently. And also uh, over at Google, she's been doing work with speech recognition, which is something that you can see with Google Speech. Um, and just, you know, any large data set and, you know, with the increasing size of the internet and the volume of data that would need to be processed with search algorithms, uh, you can definitely see the importance of machine learning and um, how you can make systems process this information a little bit more efficiently. So, um, you know, in doing so, I kind of looked at how large the internet is growing, and as of 2010, according to recent statistics, you have to remember that there's 255 million websites, and 35 hours of video are being uploaded to YouTube every minute. 35 hours. And on Flickr, which isn't related to Google, but um, you have 3,000 or more pictures are uploaded to Flickr each minute. So there's huge volumes of data and very diverse data and um, how we get machines to be able to pull relevant information out of them is going to be a definite challenge um, for, you know, that users would like to see solutions to. So again, that's why I wanted to recognize Karina Cortez. So that's more like a brief introduction. If you're watching this on YouTube, um, I'll provide some links to some interviews and video lectures uh, with or by Karina Cortez. And if you're watching this on Facebook, um, I'll also provide some of that information below. 
Um, if you haven't done so already, it's 1248 Eastern Standard Time, so there's still plenty of time for you to provide your own Ada Loveless post, whether it's a video blog, traditional blog post, uh, whatever you would like to do. So I certainly encourage you to do so. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this, and I'll see you guys again next year. Thanks.